Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the free online image compression tool called CompressJPEG.com. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and I'm going to go to this web page here on Pexel's website. I don't want to download this picture. I don't need it at full resolution, so I'm going to download it at sort of medium size, should be fine. And we'll click free download. Let's just drag this to one side and we'll open up this folder on my desktop and we'll drag and drop this picture in here so we can see the image is around 100 kilobytes right um, at this particular size is around 100 kilobytes but we can compress this and make it a smaller file size so to do that the first thing we should do is really resize it and if I just hover over this image we can see that it's 1280 by 720 so it's too wide for the purpose that I need it for and if I go to my blog here I'm working on this blog post and I've got this picture in here and I know this picture needs to be around 750 pixels wide so really we should edit our image in Photoshop or GIMP software before we compress it and this will make the file even smaller so let's quickly do that let's open up Photoshop and what we do is drag and drop this picture into Photoshop and the first thing I want to do is do a bit of uh, cropping. So I'm just going to click on the crop tool. I'm just going to crop off the top here and crop down towards the bottom here. Really, I just want these like chain links to be shown, right? So I hit enter and that's already going to compress the image because we've got rid of some content. I'm going to go into image here and go to image size and I want to set it to 750 wide and it will be 282 pixels high. I'm going to click OK and that's going to make the image smaller and also compress it again. So I want to export this image. Let's go, go ahead and export it. Let's just export this and we'll go to my desktop and let's go to this uh, compression here and we'll give it a sensible file name. So let's just call this link link building, right? We'll click save. And we can minimize this. So we've right now we've we've taken the file and we've exported it, but we've exported at 100 percent compressions. Actually, it's a smaller file size, but we've exported at 100 percent compressions. It's 132 kilobytes. It's actually larger than the original file, although it's been made smaller in terms of size. So to improve that, what we'll do is take the image and we'll go to this website called CompressJPEG.com. So here's CompressJPEG.com. We're going to drag this picture into here. And while it's compressing the image, we're going to create a folder and call it done. I'll just grab these two images and drag them in there. So let's just drag them in there and we'll click download. It's compressed it by 76%. So now we're down to 32 kilobytes. So we started off at 100 kilobytes. Remember, this is our original file at 100. We compressed it or we resized the image and cropped out some of the content here in this 132 kilobyte. Then we ran it through this compression. And now it's all the way down to 32 kilobyte. Normally I edit this image and get rid of the dash MIN at the end and we can just double click it and now we can see the picture in here. So let's just test that picture out. We'll go to my website. I'm working on this blog post at the moment. So let's go ahead and add this image into here and see what it looks like. So I've got this existing image. Let's just double click it. We'll browse on the server. Let's go to my blog and let's just see what that image looks like. So we're going to go to modified. Uh, set it to this one let's see uh, we want um, this folder here and we're gonna choose that file so let's find that file and we'll upload it to the server and see what it looks like so let's just go to here and we we'll select this picture open it and then we'll upload it and then we'll click on it and then we'll select that and we'll get rid of the width and height so we can retain responsive and now we've got that picture in there. Let's just close this, save it. And we can go over here and refresh it. And now we can see the new picture, but it's been compressed, remember. So we started off at 100 kilobytes and now we're down to 32. So it's almost 66% um, smaller file size. And it's important that we compress images. So whenever we add pictures to our websites, we should always go through that compression process. I know it takes a bit of time and effort to do that, but at the same time, it's going to make our pages load faster. So that's quite important too, right? We want fast loading pages. So whenever we place images into our into our pages, we must resize them. There's no point in this image being a thousand pixels or two thousand pixels wide. If I went to this website and if I clicked free download and downloaded the original file, it would be in six thousand pixels wide and three thousand three hundred and seventy five uh, high, right? In, in its height. But really we want 750 by 282 
that's actually what we want. So you can see by compressing down the image, first resizing it in Photoshop, and then pushing it through the compressed JPEG tool, this tool here, you're gonna bring down your image size, but you're gonna retain the quality as well. It's still gonna look pretty good in terms of its quality, right? Okay, so that's how you go about using this tool called compressjpeg.com. I thought I'd make this tutorial because compressing images for websites is very, very important. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.